Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to take a look at some important phrasal verbs, so let's get started. We're looking at the phrasal verbs put up and put in. They're both very similar. They're both similar to the verb install, but there are some differences. Let's take a closer look. We use the phrasal verb put in for install. Pronunciation. The T in put sounds like a fast D. Put, put, put in, put in, put in, put in. In a continuous form, putting, putting in. Example, he's putting in new floors. He's installing new floors, so I can use the phrasal verb putting in. He's putting in new floors. Or I can say he's putting in new flooring. Let's practice. Is he putting in new floors? That's right, he's putting in new floors. Is he putting in new flooring? That's right, he's putting in new flooring. What about this guy? What is he doing? He's installing a new stove. So I can use the phrasal verb put in. He's putting in a new stove. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he putting in a new stove? That's right, he's putting in a new stove. He got a new countertop. What is this? This is a countertop. He got a new countertop. And they installed the countertop, so I can use the phrasal verb put in. They put in a new countertop. Put in the present, in the past, put. It's the same. Make the fast D sound, put, put in. They put in a new countertop. Remember, countertop is singular, so we need for one a. Uh. They put in a new countertop. The idea, they installed a new countertop. Let's practice. Did they put in a new countertop? That's right, they put in a new countertop. And these guys, they're installing new windows. So I can use the phrasal verb, put in. In the continuous form, putting in. Right now, they're putting in new windows. Let's practice. What are they doing? Are they putting in new windows? That's right, they're putting in new windows. Now let's talk about put up. We can use put up similar to install or build. We use put up in two cases, in two situations. If the thing is standing up, we say put up. Or if the thing is on the wall, we say put up. Example, she's putting up a fence. She's building a fence. She's installing a fence. But it stands up. The fence stands up. So we say put up. Put up a fence. What is she doing? She's putting up a fence. Again, the T in put changes to a fast D. Put, put up, put up, put up. Put up a new fence. In the continuous form, putting, putting up. She's putting up a new fence. She's installing or building a fence. You can say put up. She's putting up a new fence. Let's practice. What is she doing? Is she putting up a new fence? That's right. She's putting up a new fence. They're building something. What are they building? They're building a small building. A small storage building. It's called a shed. A storage shed, a tool shed, or just a shed. It's a small building for storage. So they're building a shed. And I can use the phrasal verb put up. They're putting up a shed. Because the shed stands up, I can use the phrasal verb put up. They're putting up a shed in the backyard. It means they're building a shed. Let's practice. What are they doing? Are they putting up a shed in the backyard? That's right, they're putting up a shed in the backyard. And this guy, he's building a wall. Because the wall stands up, I can use the phrasal verb put up. Put up a wall. In the continuous form, right now, he's putting up a wall. He's putting up a wall in the backyard. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he putting up a wall in the backyard? That's right, he's putting up a wall in the backyard. What are they doing? They're not installing the Christmas tree. They're not building the Christmas tree. We use the phrasal verb put up. Because it stands up, we use the phrasal verb put up. Put up in the continuous form, putting up. They're putting up the Christmas tree. Let's practice. What are they doing? Are they putting up the Christmas tree? That's right, they're putting up the Christmas tree. And the other situation we use put up is when something is on the wall. 
Example, a picture. She's putting up a picture. You can say she's hanging a picture or she's putting up a picture. Because it's on the wall, we can use the phrasal verb. She's putting up a picture. Let's practice. What is she doing? Is she putting up a picture? That's right. She's putting up a picture. And what are they doing? They're putting up decorations. We don't say they're installing or making decorations. They're putting up decorations because it's on the wall. Let's practice. What are they doing? Are they putting up decorations? That's right. They're putting up decorations. It's Christmas, and this is a fireplace. And on the fireplace, you see stockings. These are called stockings. They're not socks. They're stockings. They're Christmas stockings. And we use the phrasal verb put up. Somebody put up the Christmas stockings. They put them on the wall, or in this case, the fireplace. We use the phrasal verb. They put up the Christmas stockings. They put up their stockings. Use possession, there. They put up their stockings. They put up their Christmas stockings. Let's practice. Did they put up their Christmas stockings? That's right. They put up their Christmas stockings. And what is he doing? He's installing shelves. He's installing new shelves. Because it's on the wall, we can use the phrasal verb put up. Put up new shelves. In the moment, I use the continuous form putting. He's putting up new shelves. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he putting up new shelves? That's right. He's putting up new shelves. So we see that put in and put up can both be used for installing things, but they are a little different. And we can use put up to express a completely different idea. You can use the phrasal verb put up, meaning to put things where they go, to put things in their place. And remember, the phrasal verb is separable. If I have a substitution it, I have to put it in the middle. Put it up. Put it up. The T in put changes to a fast D. Put it, put it. And the T in it changes to a fast D. Put it up. Put it up. He's always on his phone. So I tell him to put it up. It means put it in its place. Put it where it goes. Stop using it. You need to put it up. Let's practice. He's always on his phone. Does he need to put it up? That's right. He needs to put it up. Example, she's putting her toys in the toy box. So she's putting her toys where they go. She's putting her toys in their place. So I use the phrasal verb put up. Put up the toys. Right now, she's putting. She's putting up her toys. Let's practice. Is she putting up her toys? That's right. She's putting up her toys. If I use a substitution, a pronoun for toys, I say them. Put them up. She's putting up her toys, or she's putting them up. If I use them, I have to put it in the middle. She's putting them up. He's putting the groceries in the cabinets, so I can use the phrasal verb put up. He's putting up the groceries. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he putting up the groceries? That's right. He's putting up the groceries. And what is he doing? He just finished washing the clothes. He's putting the clothes where they go. So I use the phrasal verb, put up. Put up the clothes. Right now, he's putting up the clothes. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he putting up the clothes? That's right. He's putting up the clothes. So remember the different uses of phrasal verbs, put in and put up. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.